for YouTube. Today I am going to install the UEM no ID configuration. Before doing that, we have to create our shares for the actual manager configuration. It's gonna reside. I currently have my AD and share some folders. So make sure you have the appropriate permissions on your EDM shares that you're gonna we're gonna keep your configuration files. First thing you gotta do is go ahead and create the, ne the network share. I already have mine. the general once you do that you install the actual manager I already installed it let me close this so once you install it it's gonna ask you to um, it's gonna ask you for the uh, path to the general folder where it's gonna install or populate all these applications and all these settings that are right here so I already configured this maybe uh, once you configure this you go to the general you go to the general uh, the flex repository and you create a no ID another no ID folder inside this folder you create the configuration file I got a simple one there's a template that you can get from the VMware site so if you go to the VMware site it gives you a sample of the XML file configuration that you can use I got mine with the uh, proper uh, profile path, the log file path log, and the backup path, which is right here. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the uh, UEM on the client, the gold image. So every time we spin up new pools. The configuration is already hard, um, embedded or installed on the actual old image. So let's see. Install. I do not have that configuration yet. So we're gonna start by. We got that part. So we're going to start by installing it. Olives at a major run. Marishino cherries. So as you can see, I have my files here, my license. It's going to ask for a license. And the MSI. Right now, I'm running uh, UAGM. 9.8 so I will be upgrading it to the DEM which is the Dynamic Environment Manager
got my license in the bottom. And then now I depart there. Install it. Actually, I sorry. So now, let's make sure we have everything correct. Quiet license. And what will it not do? The way uh, we're gonna verify that the installation was successful, we're gonna go to the uh, registry key and, and check. So, okay, as you can see, this, this path. file I mean configuration key as you can see here is the path to my no ID folder where it's gonna read all the uh, settings from the apps uh, and the other one is right here in the version so it looks like I was successful I want to 
shut down and I will recompose my pool and I will come back to, to test it. Alright, so we're back. Recomposed, everything is good. I'm running link clones in my lab since I, I'm not leveraging share, share storage. I'm just using local storage, so. Test from the outside. Let's test our VPN. Let's see. Check in. Just to see if the settings are being saved. As you can see, I got a. We're gonna delete this one. We're gonna add YouTube.
DM. Please.